Well, with COVID-19 numbers on the rise here in Rhode Island, the Department of Health is reminding you in order to beat this pandemic, there needs to be full cooperation. Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer sat down with medical director Dr. Jim McDonald Monday and has more on where the state is heading. Well, it's been five months since Rhode Island's first coronavirus case. Dr. Jim McDonald says the state has learned a lot during that time and should be in a better place five months from now. This pandemic started with one person has infected millions and affected billions. Six months ago, Massachusetts saw its first case of COVID-19. I think at that time we still had the hope we were going to contain the pandemic and keep it out of Rhode Island. A month later, Rhode Island's first coronavirus patient was diagnosed. Now 156 days later, Department of Health Medical Director Dr. Jim McDonald tells me we have seen the true power of this virus. You know, when I see people who are newly diagnosed, they're genuinely surprised. They were kind of wearing a mask. They were kind of being six feet apart. They were kind of keeping their hands clean. But this virus is just so unforgiving. It doesn't give people any leeway at all. And while health leaders across the globe have agreed on maintaining distance and wearing facial coverings, McDonald says there are still many unknowns. He says because this virus is fairly new, the long term effects are uncertain. The majority of people seem to be recovering fine. The Boston Red Sox pitcher who had myocarditis, that does seem to have an impact on people. And so I think it's still in everyone's best interest, just quite frankly, not to get the disease. When asked about the possibilities of where the ocean state will be in the next six months, McDonald says he's cautiously optimistic. It's totally up to us where we land. If we can all adhere to these three basic principles of staying six feet apart, wearing a mask and managing our hands, we could be done with this pandemic in six months. And Dr. McDonald says, of course, a vaccine would help. He says the Moderna and Pfizer studies are currently in phase three and if successful, would go to market in phase four. I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.